In this video, I'll show you how to quickly and easily frame walls in SketchUp. So the first thing you'll want to know is how to make components. If we were to start drawing on this slab here, start drawing our framing, and then we wanted to move something, we could warp the entire slab. And the reason why is our slab is not a component. So this is going to be important for all of our pieces of framing. And the way you make something a component, I'm going to erase this line here, there's two ways. You could with the selector tool, click and drag a square around the object, and that will do it. Or you can triple click the object. So I'm gonna triple click the slab, then I can right click on the slab and hit make component. We'll just call this slab, hit enter. And so now it's a, a component, and if we were to try to draw something, and we hit the move tool, we wanted to move this line here, we would just move the line without warping the slab. So this is going to come in handy as we frame. So now that you know how to make a component, let's get started framing. So I'll first make a bottom plate all the way across this 12 foot slab. So I usually do that with the line tool. You can use the rectangle tool, but I find the line tool a bit easier. So I'm gonna come up, type 1.5 on the blue axis, come across the red axis, type 3.5. Now I can just connect it back to this line and connect it back here. So now we've got a rectangle that is 1.5 by 3.5. And for those of you that don't know, two by fours are actually 1.5 by 3.5. So that's why I made it like that. Now I'm going to use the push pull tool to bring this across for our bottom plate. But before I do that, I'll show you a little trick. If you hit B for the paint tool, and then you decide on the paint selection you're going to use, I'm going to go under synthetic surfaces and use this kind of wood grain look then you paint that on your object. When you go to push pull, it will paint all the sides of it. So I'll pull that out a little bit. I'm going to type one, two apostrophe. So that's 12 feet. And you abbreviate feet with apostrophe in the measurements there. And so since our slab is 12 feet, we just made a 12 foot bottom plate. So before we start framing our studs, we're going to triple click our bottom plate and notice no matter how many times we click on this, it does not select the slab. So they are separated since the slab is a component. So we'll triple click the bottom plate, right click, make component. And I'm gonna call this top slash bottom plate. And the reason is we're going to reuse it for, oops, spelling error. We're going to reuse it for the top plate as well. That way we don't have to draw it again. And actually you'll see we're only going to draw one stud then we're going to copy it across the bottom plate 16 inches on center. So let's draw our stud. We're going to use the line tool, which is L. I'm going to come over 1.5 again. And then now I don't have to type in any measurements because this is three and a half inches wide. So just go across it, come to this corner and come back here. So now we've got part of our stud here. And again, before I use the push pull, I'm going to paint it. So we'll select this color here and then I'm going to hit P for the push pull tool. So now when I come up, I can type in 82, 82 inches, and there is our stud. So now we wanna copy this, but first let's make it a component. So triple click on the object, right click, make component. We'll call this stud. And now this is where it gets really easy. We're going to copy this and we're going to make the wall 16 inches on center. So the way that we do that, is we hit the move tool, which is M on your keyboard, and then hit option if you're on a Mac. Notice it added this little plus sign to my red arrow move tool here. I think you'll hit control if you're on, a, on Windows, but anyway, again, it's the move tool and then option for Mac or control on Windows, and it adds this little plus sign, and what that allows you to do is move a copy. So I'm gonna move a copy, and I'm going to move it over and type 15.2. Two, five. And you may be wondering why 15.25 and not 16. I said it would be 16 inches on center, but the very first stud, if you were to lay plywood across this, you would want it to end right here, not on the center of your last board. So if we measure from the end here, right to the center of this is 16 inches. So from here to there, one foot four, it says, which is 16 inches. So that's why we do that. The first one is 15.25. The second one is going to be 16 and then 16 from there on out. So I hit the move tool, hit option, 
to copy. And I'm going to drag this over, type 16. And now all I have to do is hit X. I'll try 7. So X7, enter. So actually, let's try X8. There we go. And so this one's going to land on the center at the end here. So we're going to take this, move it over 3 quarters of an inch, and now we've framed our wall. And I'll show you how to adjust this. If um, Since these are a copied component, if I adjust one of these, it adjusts all of them. So let's take the height down, or let's bring it up 6 inches. So when you use the push-pull tool, you can't use it on a component unless you triple-click on the component. There we go. So now we can edit it. We're going to pull this up six inches. I'll hit six, enter. So now it moved all of them up six inches. So now all of the studs are 88 inches. And then now if we want to add the top plate, we can just copy the bottom plate. So we'll select it, hit M. Here, I'll give you a little space so you can see. Hit M for the move tool, hit option to copy it, or again, hit control if you're on Windows. We're going to move this up. And since they're 88 inches tall, I'll need to make this 89.5 is how far I'm going to move it. So that puts it right on top. And the reason is we want the bottom of the bottom plate at the very top of this. So it would be the one and a half inches at the bottom plate plus the 88. So I moved it up 89 and a half inches. And again, you could just drag it all the way to the top. You don't have to do math as you go. Um, if you want a double top plate, super simple. We've got the move tool. We'll hit option again to copy and we'll just drag one up right there. So if you're framing a building that has two of the same walls, what you can do is select everything. And now I'm going to just hold shift and hit the slab, which deselects the slab. So now we can just move this wall over and we've got a second copy of it. So I'll hit option after the move tool. And since I need to move it 10 feet minus uh, three and a half inches, which is 116.5, I believe. May have that wrong. Nope, that's right. So that's how you do it. Those are the basics of framing walls and SketchUp. If you wanted to frame in a window or something, I'm going to do a whole nother tutorial on that sort of thing. But, you know, just off, off the top, you would delete a stud if you needed to and get in there and frame like that. And just make sure to make everything a component. If you alter anything, like if I were to move one of these studs down, it would move all of these since they're all a copy of the same component. So if you're going to make something that you're going to alter later and you don't want to change the rest of them, make sure that they are separate components. But um, that's the basics of framing walls and SketchUp. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.